Welcome to Fontaine fifth wheel coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures for no slack two fifth wheels. As you follow these instructions, make sure that you exercise extreme caution. Begin with a visual inspection to check for damaged or missing parts. Make sure the fifth wheel is securely fastened to the tractor. Pay close attention to welds and areas around bolt holes. Make sure that there are no cracks or missing bolts. The top plate should be properly greased with a liberal coating in the grease grooves and a light coating on the remainder of the top plate surface. Proper lubrication is important because under lubrication can lead to steering problems. For sliding fifth wheels, make sure that the slide locks are fully engaged on both sides. Make sure that the fifth wheel pivots freely and is tilted down in the rear, resting on the stops. Make sure the area around the vehicle is level, clear of obstacles, and that the trailer wheels are chocked or the spring brakes are engaged. If the trailer is loaded, the cargo must be secured. The fifth wheel must be in the open position before coupling. To open the fifth wheel, simply pull the release handle straight out until the locking mechanism is disengaged. Drivers prefer Fontaine because the release handle is easy to pull. When the handle is extended, the fifth wheel is in the open position and the jaw and wedge do not block the throat of the fifth wheel. Inspect the trailer kingpin and kingpin plate for damage and proper lubrication. Position the tractor in a straight line with the trailer and back up slowly using the outside mirrors as a guide. Never back under a trailer at an angle because you might push the trailer sideways and break the landing gear. Stop just before making contact with the trailer. Do not hit the trailer. If you back up too fast, you could cause substantial damage to the trailer and the tractor. Secure the tractor by engaging the parking brake and placing the transmission in neutral. One of the most common mistakes drivers make is attempting to couple at the wrong trailer kingpin height. Proper kingpin to fifth wheel alignment is crucial to avoid personal injury and damage to the tractor, trailer, and fifth wheel. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, make sure the system is inflated before inspecting the kingpin alignment. After confirming that your system is inflated, visually inspect to make sure that the trailer is at the proper coupling height. If the trailer is too high, the kingpin will not strike the trigger and could miss the fifth wheel altogether. If the trailer is too low, you could easily damage the fifth wheel and the trailer. At proper coupling height, the upper portion of fifth wheel approach ramps strikes the leading edge of the trailer. Never inflate the tractor air ride suspension when the trailer kingpin is above the throat of the fifth wheel. Inflating the suspension in this situation damages equipment and causes hazardous false coupling. To establish proper coupling height, raise or lower the trailer landing legs. When the tractor and trailer are properly aligned, the upper portion of the fifth wheel approach ramps strikes the leading edge of the trailer. Use the lowest reverse gear and back up slowly. The trailer will lift slightly and you will hear a distinctive sound as the kingpin engages the fifth wheel. Avoid hitting the kingpin too hard. It only requires 30 pounds of pressure to couple a Fontaine No Slack 2 fifth wheel. Now connect the electrical and air lines to the trailer. Make sure all lines are secured so they won't be crushed or caught when backing under the trailer. Raise the trailer landing gear slightly off the ground and perform the tug test. While trailer brakes are still engaged, put the tractor in low and ease out on the clutch just enough to feel the resistance of the load. If the coupling feels secure, place the transmission in neutral, engage the parking brake, and shut off the engine. After coupling, you must get out of the cab and perform a visual inspection before moving the tractor trailer. Visually inspect to make sure that the pull handle is retracted, that there is no gap between the fifth wheel and the trailer, and that the kingpin is secured by the jaw and wedge. Make sure the pull handle is retracted to within one inch of the fifth wheel skirt. Make sure there is no space between the fifth wheel and the kingpin plate. If there is a gap, the kingpin may not be locked 
and the trailer could come loose easily. Use a flashlight to inspect the locking mechanism. The king pin should be secured by the jaw and wedge. After verifying a successful couple, you may need to relocate your fifth wheel for better weight distribution. Before we begin the sliding procedure, lock the trailer brakes. For air slide models, make sure that you understand the in-cab controls for your vehicle. For manual slide models, pull the release lever on the slide mount and drop it behind the catch to unlock the slide. Visually check to make sure that the locking wedges on both sides of the trailer are retracted. Pressure on the locking wedges can be relieved by lowering the landing legs. This also allows the fifth wheel to slide with greater ease. Now slowly move the tractor forward or backward to position the fifth wheel. Then set the cab control lever to the off and locked position. For manual systems, trip the release lever on the slide mount to engage the lock. Perform a visual inspection to verify that the locking wedges on both sides of the tractor are fully engaged. Now fully raise the landing legs and secure the crank handle. Never operate the vehicle unless the locking wedges are fully engaged and the landing legs are fully retracted. Make a visual check to verify that there is proper clearance between the tractor tires and the bottom of the trailer. You've now completed the Fontaine coupling and sliding procedures for no slack two fifth wheels. Now let's focus our attention on the uncoupling procedure. Before uncoupling, align the tractor and trailer. Pulling out at an angle can damage the landing gear. Park on a flat, level surface that can support the trailer and its contents and make sure the air ride suspension is inflated. Lock the trailer brakes and back slowly to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaw. Now engage the parking brake while the tractor is pushing against the king pin. This will help you release the fifth wheel locking lever. If your tractor is equipped with an air ride suspension, never deflate it to uncouple a trailer. Doing so will make the fifth wheel very difficult to open and could actually damage the fifth wheel and king pin. Now, chalk the trailer wheels and lower the landing legs. If you have poor ground conditions, it may be necessary to provide a base for the landing legs. If you have an air ride suspension, lower the landing legs until they touch the ground and then add one additional turn. If you have a spring suspension, give a few extra turns in low gear. Do not raise the trailer off of the fifth wheel. Disconnect the electrical lines and the air lines and secure them to the tractor. Pull straight out on the release handle until the locking mechanism is secured in the open or unlocked position. If the fifth wheel is difficult to open, it may be due to a tight or unlubricated wedge. This can be remedied by striking the spring-loaded wedge stop rod with a hammer. If the problem persists, report it to your maintenance department. Now ease the tractor forward until the fifth wheel comes out from under the trailer. Let the trailer slowly slide down the fifth wheel approach ramps. If your vehicle is equipped with air ride suspension, this will allow the necessary time for it to adjust to the unloaded height. Stop with the tractor frame still under the trailer. This prevents the trailer from falling if the landing gear fails or sinks into the ground. Engage the parking brake and place the transmission in neutral. Inspect to make sure the ground is properly supporting the trailer landing gear. Release the parking brake and slowly pull out from under the trailer. You've now completed the Fontaine coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures for no slack two fifth wheels. Consult DOT and local regulations for additional information. By following the proper coupling, sliding, and uncoupling procedures, you can count on Fontaine fifth wheels to give you safe, dependable performance mile after mile.